What's going on, Facebook? This is the fist pump guy. Facebook Live with the fist pump guy. Bondi's Toy the Enterprise Element. Y'all come on in here. I got a quick topic to cover with you. And I think it's going to be good for you to listen up close. Now, I know y'all got a lot going on today. It's getting close to the end of the month. So as you jump on in, you know I'm going to get started. You know, I'm going to get started anyway. I don't wait on too many people because uh, my, my audience, what's up, Matt? How y'all doing? My audience isn't quite, quite as big as some of the other guys out there. So I always uh, just spit my stuff out there. I, I talk about what I got to say, and then I get on my way. So hope y'all have had a good day. I'm going to come back in here. We're going to, I don't know if I want to sit in the kid's room or not. Look at that. What's up, Matt? How you doing? Let me come on in here, sit down in the kids' room, because we got, uh, what's up, Brandon? We got a nice little kids' room here for our kids here. We got the big chalkboard, and we got pictures and stuff on the wall. We got a, a lady that uh, we know makes these things, so. All right, hope y'all have had a good day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little rest here for a second. Had to go pick my little girl up and bring her out here, because uh, Mama's out of town tonight, so I got to, uh, had to go pick her up. But anyway. If you, read, uh, if you read the description, who's responsible for watering the plants at your house? Do y'all have plants at your house? And the reason I'm asking that is because I remember coming up as a kid, my mom couldn't keep a plant alive to save her life. If her life depended on it, she would probably be dead because she, can't, she couldn't keep a plant alive. So no matter what she did, no matter the amount of water she gave it, no matter how much sunlight she gave it, for some reason or another, it always died. So who's responsible in your house for watering those plants that you have? Okay, watering the grass, whatever. If you got some potted plants, who's responsible for that? Matt, then you're going to like this one. Your wife's responsible for the. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody else is responsible for that because I'm going to tell you, I'm not a plant person. I don't, uh, my wife can probably, she's good at that stuff. But obviously, last week we uh, we touched on uh, taking out the trash. Today we're going to talk about watering the plants. So why is it important to water plants? Okay, we know that plants, for the most part, unless you're a cactus or something like that, plants for the most part need water to survive. They need water to grow. They need water to so they can be nurtured. Uh, they need water to get down to the roots. So that way it will spread and grow and get bigger. So watering, you know, plants need water. Plants, for the most part, need some type of sunlight uh, to uh, help them grow, be green, or whatever the case may be. But some of, some of them may even, uh, like plant food. So the reason you do that is so those plants can grow. Those plants can get bigger, grow, and hopefully outgrow their pot. So if you if you if you're correctly you know, if you want a plant that's going to grow a tree or whatever, you water it, you give it sunlight, you give it food, fertilizer, whatever the case may be, because you, you want it to outgrow its pot, so that way you can plant it maybe in the yard, in a flower bed, or whatever the case may be. So, I don't know if you know where I'm going with this, Matt, or whoever else may watch this, but at the end of the day, that's what you want. Who's water, who, who are you being watered by? Who are you listening to? Who are you growing with? Who, who are you being fed by? What information are you putting in your noggin? How are you going to grow? Okay? Just like a plant needs to be watered and nurtured, your mind, your soul has to be watered. It has to get food. It has to uh, uh, get that sunlight, that, that energy from somebody or something that you listen to or, or on a regular basis. Who are you being motivated by? Are you being around negative people? Are you being around positive people? All those things come into play. What are you watching on television? What are you listening to? All those things come into play for you to be watered and grow and be nurtured. Those things are important. So, you, you know, as you grow, as you, I don't care what business you're in, in life, whatever the case may be, just like a plant has to be watered and nurtured, so do we. We have to make sure that we're filling our minds with things that are going to, appreciate that, Matt, we've got to fill our minds with things that are going to help us grow, help us get better, okay? Because I, nobody I talk to, nobody that I know, if you ask them, 
oh no, I want to get worse. I, I don't want to get better. I don't want to grow. Most of the people that I know that are now, they may not acknowledge, acknowledge it, acknowledge, acknowledge it, but they do want to grow. They want to get better. They want to make more money. They want to grow their family. They want to get better in life. So much like that plant that you have in your house, you take the time to water that plant and get it sunlight and get it food because you want it to grow. Why, oh why, do you not want to do that as a person in life, in your business, in your job, whatever the case may be? If you're taking that much time to feed that plant, water it, why aren't you doing the same thing yourself? That's all I got today. I hope somebody takes this information and just utilizes that and remembers what I'm talking about. Um, you compare it yourself to a plant. The plant's got to grow somehow. So do you. Feed yourself. Feed yourself with positive, positivity, positive people. And I promise you, if you really want to, you're going to grow. Thank you guys for watching. The Fist Pump Guy selling cars the right way because it's the only way I know. Follow the Fist Pump Enterprise.